Oh man, I haven't done one of these in a while, but woo! So I got back from uh, Hellhammer slash uh, Triumph of Death, and oh my gods, that was amazing. Holy shit. I'm not gonna lie, it was amazing. Like, if you don't know who Hellhammer is, they are one of the progenitors of extreme metal, bit of black metal, like, a bit even death metal, like, everything you can think of, really. Like, it was Hellhammer, Celtic Frost next, and then obviously Celtic Frost evolved into Trypticon, rah, rah, rah. So, it really helped evolve, and Hellhammer was just so good. It's just got that vibe, that grime, and that gunk, that energy of metal and all the other genres it's a part of, and it's just amazing. And I got to see Gabriel live. Hells yeah. He's playing. I believe his daughter may have been playing. It's hard to tell these days. You don't know somebody... You don't know if they're dating the person or if it's their daughter. I, yeah, I think it was her daughter, his daughter, though. I Maybe. Again, don't know, but they were having fun on the... You know, he was... He had, like, this sort of dad vibe with her, you know, like, playing with her hair and being, like, but in a daddy way and... Da -da 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 -da, so, who knows? But... To be able to see him was one thing. To be able to, like, see all these greats, to be able to just rock and roll was so good. So, first up, we'll talk about bands. The first band was really good. Australian band, Adelaide band, I'm pretty sure. Um, pretty sure I worked with one of the guys on a movie once, actually. And it was great. Uh, they're very black metal, very uh, bit of extreme metal, and just, they vibed really well. They had a, like... A really good tone that was like a chainsaw that was like and it was just great like I was like wow that sounded amazing like these guys really amped your energy up really well um no real mosh pit though which kind of sucked like there was a small one a small one but it, it wasn't anything special there wasn't too many people I think that came because one it's a Sunday two it wasn't like triumph of death isn't a big name if it was hellhammer Maybe, but they don't have the rights to Hellhammer. If it was Celtic Frost, definitely. Trypticon, absolutely. But unfortunately, they didn't. I will say this, though. I got this. Tom Gabriel Warriors. So, at the end, as they're um going, the guitarist literally points me out and throws me this. And I was like, I was like scared shitless because I was like, did I do something wrong? Because I was out of it because I was obviously tired because I was headbanging away, which you'll see in the videos. It's pretty great. Um, I have got another TikTok video at the end to show you, um, because it was great as well. Um, they, like, they sound so good. Here's the thing. This band sounds amazing live, and it sounds like almost studio quality. Like, it sounds, their live stuff sound, when recorded properly, and they did do this, sounds better to their studio albums they did. It, it, it's just crazy, and I loved it. Um, honestly, overall, probably one of the best bands this year. I mean, this is the best year I've had in terms of seeing bands live. Like, every band I've seen live has been a 10 out of 10, pretty much, and this is no different. It had energy. It had a vibe. It had a, the, it had fun laughter. There was this drunk guy who was always yelling out, and, um, Gabriel was like, so what's the next song? And he's like, what? No, that's not the next song. It's this. And it was just so funny. Everyone's just like, dude, this like this chick, this gothic chick, who's a bit, obviously a big fan. She's like apparently been following him around on their Australian tour. It was like, bro, do you know who's talking to you right now? I was just losing my shit. It was so good. I'm just like, bro, bro. And he's just all drunk like, mm, what? Oh, I, I, the people you meet in these pits, man. It's so good. So good. I was obviously at the front. Um, You'll obviously see some great um, videos. I had a lot of fun doing it. Uh, it was just so good, man. Like, everything, the vibe, the people, it was small, but wonderful at the same time. And obviously, if you're a metalhead, you're going to love it. If you're a thrashhead, if you're a metalhead... Um, I can't think. Um, bit of punk stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, you, yeah. If you're any of them, you're going to love it. Now, let's talk, uh, obviously, memorabilia, stuff you can buy, merch. Oh, these guys had great. First of all, the prices were amazing. This was 20 bucks, which I know just says Hellhammer and stuff, but I mean, shit, I've seen these sell for 20 bucks normally in a store, which has, like, nothing on it. I've seen these sell, most of the time, these sell for, like, 40, 50 bucks, um, which is crazy to me. Also, they gave me a bag. I love that. So, they also had a t-shirt. Which, um, they had a lot of t-shirts, they had a lot of cool stuff, they had, but 
I didn't have the money for everything, so I had to choose. But that was their Australian tour shirt, which again looks amazing. Probably my favorite looking one. They did have one that had a really good back, but the front wasn't very good. Um, honestly, wish they absolutely wish they had the front, this front, and the back, which looked really awesome. But yeah, that looks amazing. So that t shirt is a 10 out of 10. I reckon love it. They had patches. These were $10 each. Look how big it is. I bought two patches because I was like, $10 each? Holy shit. $10 for that. Like, you'll be lucky to get $10 something half that size. Like, amazing. Amazing. So that's going on my battle jacket. They, in the bag, they gave us, like, little, little things, like, here, which I thought was quite funny. Um, Glenn Hughes and... I mean, celebrating 50th anniversary of Deep Purple. Yeah, why not? And then I got a stubby holder, which of course I was going to get a stubby holder. Like, I'm not going to say no to a stubby holder. It looks amazing. And it's actually thick. It's a thick boy. It doesn't have the bottom, but it doesn't matter. I, I love it. And then, yeah, I got a hat. So I got the Hellhammer hat. Again, 20 bucks. Like, most of the time these hats are like 40, 50 bucks. So I thought it was great. I was like, yeah. Um, they had vinyls there that was signed for like $80, which is really good because vinyls, just the vinyls in general would have sold for like a lot more. And I mean a lot more. Um, they had like a all of Celtic Frost and a bit of and Hellhammer mixed together box set for $250 that was signed, which is not bad. Um, I wish I had the money to buy the vinyls, but I was like, I, I don't. I only had the money to buy certain things and uh, I... I it was the some of the best merch I've bought and the cheapest too, which was great. Like I was, a lot of us were blown away and actually really happy. It was like, the, the band itself were like, this is for the fans, this is for the music, not for like cashing in and making a shit ton of money because they knew they weren't. They're going to make money, but they're not going to make a million dollars or whatever because they know that this isn't the sort of band that's going to make that amount of cash. Celtic Frost, maybe. Um, Trypticon, possibly. But yeah. But honestly, Hellhammer was amazing. And you're going to see, like, the, the wrist, the, 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 the vibe, and just the energy. Oh, the energy was fantastic. And 100%, check out Hellhammer. Check out the old stuff. Check out the re, um, redone stuff. Um, check out Triumph of Death live, because obviously they just redid that. I believe Celtic Frost also did, during their times, their own stuff. But in the end, Hellhammer, Triumph of Death is amazing. Worth it live. If they are going to come to you, see them live. The, the vibe, the anger, the, 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 the comedy, everything just moved together and it was just amazing. It was a very good energy. I love the fact that I got one, I got picked out to get one of these. I, I just, I loved it. Like, I'm going to keep that. Yeah. 10 out of 10 stuff, about an hour or more, about an hour and 20 minutes um, set. So good amount too. It was like $80 Australian, which obviously may move uh, around for whoever you are in the world. So yeah, worth it awesome stuff and i have to bid you adieu because i need to go to bed for work anyway it's aussie viking out i shall see you in valhalla you are awesome you are loved and you are rocking and rolling i shall see you in valhalla and i shall see you in the pit